Now let's talk about revisions, and it's one of the interesting features in the API management. Revisions allow you to update your API definition and settings and put it in a separate revision, separate from the current working revision of the API. Because you might have a situation where there are some developers already consuming the current revision of your API, and you want to do some changes to those API definition. And to avoid making any disturbance to those developers, the best is to put your changes in a separate revision until you test it and make sure it works as expected, and then you shift the traffic or move the traffic to the new revision. Now let's go ahead and see how can we do this. Let's go to revisions and let's add a new revision. Let's put update mock response in the description. Let's create a new revision. Now we have two revisions for our LinkedIn profile API. The current one is LinkedIn profile and the new one ending up with revision two. However, this one is online, but not current. Like other developers cannot use this revision yet. Now let's go back to settings to design and let's change the mock response for get profile operation. Let's go to responses, 200 OK. And let's expand this mock response to include full name. And let's call it user one. Now let's go ahead and save our changes. Now, you may notice here that we have two revisions for this API. Revision one, which is the current one, and then revision two, this is where we have done our recent change and added the full name to the mock response. Now let's go ahead and test it. As you can see here, we are testing revision two of our API and you can see the full name has been added to the mock response. However, if we switch back to revision one, and then select the Get Profile API and test it one more time, you will see that we are still getting the old mock response that we have specified earlier. So this is how revisions becomes really helpful to allow you to do changes to your API definitions and settings without breaking the current working versions that other developers might be using. And when you are done your changes and you are happy with the result, you can go ahead and make this revision a current revision. But before doing so, let's go to the developer portal and let's open it. Let's go to APIs, LinkedIn profile, get profile, and let's try this operation. As you can see here, we're still getting the old mock response, which include only the username and email address. The new revision is not available yet in the developer portal. It's only available to test within the API management itself. If I'm going to select a revision two and select get profile operation and test it, you will be able to see that the full name is included in here. And as soon as we make the new revision, the current revision, we will be able to see the new update in the developer portal. So here I'm going to put some description, update mock response. And let's go ahead and save this. And if you go to change log here, you will be able to see the current change that we have just done. And changing the revision two to be the current revision. Now, Let's go to the developer portal and send the request one more time. As you can see here, now we are receiving the new revision response, which includes the full name in the response. This is how revisions becomes really helpful for you to organize and make your changes without breaking the current working versions, without breaking the current working revisions. Because as we are gonna see in the next lecture, revisions are different than versions. And we're going to cover this in more details in the next lecture. And as you can see here, we are still have two online revisions of this API. And if we go back to test tab and select revision one, 
get profile operation and let's copy request URL. Let's test it in the browser. Definitely it's not going to work because I need to provide the subscription key in the header of the request. And you can achieve so by using some tools like Postman or something. However, we are not gonna do this in here. So in here we are getting 401 error that access denied because it's missing the subscription key. And if we go back to the revisions and take revision one offline. And let's go and see how it look like. Now we are getting 404 error and resource is not found because you have taken that revision offline. And that's something you need to consider for the old revisions of your API. This is to avoid you having a multiple online revisions for the same API at the same time because it might cause some confusion for other developers. And as well, if you go to the test tab in here and try to test revision one, you will not be able to send any test request for revision one because it's not online anymore. That's it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and please feel free to join me in the next lecture.